to subscribe! Ouch! Friends have a toothache. Be a dentist and cure their teeth. Take an x-ray. <laughs> Catch the germs. <laughs> Give a shot of painkiller. Pull out the rotten tooth. Give him a new tooth. Cleanse the teeth. Congratulations! Turn the handle and pick a gift. The dentist helped cure teeth. Don't forget to brush your teeth every day. Krong ran away with a toy. Find the hiding Krong. Find the hiding objects. Finish coloring the picture. Kororo played with the toys together with his friends. Playing together is so much more fun! Gather all the red apples.
They've gathered all the magical apples. The friends all shared and enjoyed eating the apples together. Match the puzzle. Finish coloring the picture. Find the hiding objects. Finish coloring the picture. As Krong and Rody carried in the heavy bread baskets, Bordo exclaimed, You guys are the real superheroes! Prince Eddie has come from Robot Land. Tongtong has come from Dragon Land. Prince Poby has come from Bearland. Krong has come from Dinosaur Land.
Bororo has come from Penguin Land. What fun stories about princes from faraway lands? What was the most interesting object? The friends have come to help Hobi. Tap on Poby to make him fart. Yeah. Ah, yeah. 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 Ah, yeah. Ah, yeah. Yeah. Bordo helped Poby by catching his fall with the airplane. Toby landed safely back on land thanks to his friends. The friends all sighed with relief. Move to the tree without waking up the others. the presents under the tree.
The next morning, the friends were so happy to receive presents. Seeing how happy his friends were, Eddie couldn't help but smile. Build Doodoo a new house. Decorate the house. Match the puzzle. Dudu has a new home. Dudu felt so grateful to his friends. Eddie can see his friends' minds with his glasses. What is Loopy thinking about? What is Petty thinking about? What is Bororo thinking about? <laughs> what is Poby thinking about? <laughs> what is Chrome thinking about? The friends were all surprised that Eddie read their minds. Wow! That's amazing! Early 
in the morning. Smarty <laughs> Dr. Eddie called over Deary because he wanted to boast about the submarine he made by himself. Deary wanted to try out Eddie's cool submarine. So Eddie spoke. All right, then I'll drive the car. The submarine that had on Deary and Eddie sailed to the middle of the ocean. And then it slowly sailed into the deep sea. Whoa! It was beautiful under the sea. There were corals, sea anemones, and pretty starfishes in shallow water. This time, the submarine came across the sea turtles. The kind turtles waved their hands for Deary. This time, the submarine came across a group of fish. The group of fish changed their formation into different shapes. This time, the submarine ran into a mother whale and a baby whale. The mother whale was very big, so it looked like a big mountain was floating in the water. This time, the submarine ran into a huge octopus. The octopus was very surprised to see the submarine, so he shot black ink at them. The submarine went deeper into the sea. And there they saw strange-looking fish. There were five-colored jellyfish and fish that twinkled. It was at that moment when a big shark showed up. The shark thought the submarine was his food, so he started attacking. Ah, watch out! When frightened Eddie pushed the exit button, the top opened up and Deary and Eddie popped out. Ah! They soared up and flew into the sky. Luckily, the two fell on the sand. But Eddie was very sad because he lost the submarine. No! My submarine! On the next day, Eddie began to make a stronger submarine with Deary because he wanted to go see the cool sea again. <laughs> and his friends were playing soccer. Here comes Bororo! Friends were very excited. But all of a sudden, a lot of snowballs came down from the mountain. Friends were scared and didn't know what to do. At that moment, a huge dragon came and stopped the falling snowball. It turned out the dragon was Tong Tong. He turned into a dragon with his magic. Friends said thanks to Tong Tong. Deary <laughs> also wanted to become big and strong like Tong Tong. On the next day, Deary told Tong Tong that he wants to become big like him. <laughs> So Tong Tong cast spell on Deary. Cody, Cody, Tong Tong Tong, woo! Now all you have to do is chant. Deary was very excited. On this way back, he met Rupee. Rupee looked very tired because he was carrying a lot of stuff. Goody, goody, Tong Tong Tong, grow! made himself big, and carried his stuff for him with no trouble. 
This time, Dewey came across Doot Doo, who fell into a pit. No matter how hard he tried, he couldn't get out by himself. Goody, goody, tong, 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 grow! <laughs> Yahoo! made himself big again and rescued him. This time, Dewey <laughs> came across Petty. She was sad because her roof was broken. No matter how hard she tried, she couldn't fix the roof because she was short. Goody, goody, tong, 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 grow! <laughs> Deary made himself big again <laughs> and helped her fix the roof with no problem. Right at that moment, Krong lost his cherished balloon. Deary chanted a spell and chased the balloon. Krong, my balloon! But his body became as big as the sky because chanted too much. Friends were scared because his feet were too big. That's when Tong Tong came flying and shouted. Goody, goody, Tong Tong Tong, grow smaller. And Deary, body grew small again. Friends were now relieved. <laughs> Fordo and his friends came over to Tong Tong's place to play. Because they were full of magic tools in Tong Tong's place. Deary found a strange magic stick in the box. He swayed the stick because he was curious. And something very strange happened. A beam of light came out from the magic stick. Deary grew as small as a beam. Fodoro and his friends started to look for him. Where did he go? They had no idea he was right under their feet. All of a sudden, a raven came flying and snatched Deary. Then the raven flew out the cave. Deary was so surprised and he started to tickle the raven's toes. Tickle, tickle. In the end, the raven dropped Deary. And Deary fell right into an ant tunnel. Many ants were working very hard in the tunnel. When he came out from the tunnel, he saw the squirrel couple's place. The squirrel couple showed Deary how to get back to the cave. On this way to the cave, Deary found a big apple. It was just about time to eat, so he ate the apple and the caterpillar together. Deary's leg hurt because he walked too much. That's when he saw a snow white dandelion. Deary got onto the dandelion seat and took off. Whoa! The cave finally came into his eyes. Deary wanted to go back to his friends fast. All of a sudden, the dandelion stopped. It turned out the seed was caught in a spider's web. Deary couldn't move at all because the spider's web was too sticky. <laughs> It looks like we've got fresh food. The scary spider came over. At that moment, a hand showed up and rescued Deary. It turned out that it was Pororo. He was looking for him. What happened? 
Pororo rushed back to Tong Tong with Deary. Goody, goody, Tong Tong Tong, grow! When Deary was <laughs> back to his earlier shape, Deary promised himself not to touch Tong Tong's stuff without asking. <laughs>